Man, you guys, imagine a world where I actually have to face my own clone. Think about how crazy that would actually be. I would actually be talking straight into my clone and it would be a look-alike of me. I mean, it would just be insane. It would be out of this world, you guys. It's, it's so amazingly crazy. I mean, imagine if this guy was actually right next to me. It would be the craziest thing ever. Uh, good thing I don't have to face my clone. Ah, what the fuck? <sighs> Let's just get to my review. Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review the Divergent series Insurgent. So Insurgent is the sequel to Divergent and this film is about when Beatrice and the gang are out on the run because Kate Winslet is looking for a Divergent because she needs this Divergent to do this dream sequence program to help open this box because there's just something about this box that is very special. But now it's up to Beatrice to really decide what she wants to do in order to protect her brother, her boyfriend, the groups. And along the way, the character learns about despair and forgiveness, and that's really your plot for Insurgent. So I'm gonna be honest, going into Insurgent, I really, oh my goodness, I was not looking forward to this movie. Despite the fact I actually thought Divergent was really good, it was one of the biggest surprises of 2014. But even with Divergent being a really good movie, the trailers for Insurgent just really weren't selling me. Insurgent is a step down from Divergent. It's not as good as the movie, unfortunately, but it's a decent movie. First thing I do gotta point out is that Shane Ling Woodley is great in this movie. Just like with Divergent, I thought she just had a lot of personality to the character. Beatrice was just, it's just very interesting. And the character continues to be interesting to me in the sequel. Although I never did understand why she had to cut her hair. It's like, what was the point of her hair being short? I don't know. I just never saw the point of her haircut in this movie, but Shane Lee Woodley was really good. Miles Teller, I thought he was really good in the movie. I really enjoyed Miles Teller. Ansel Elgort, who plays Beatrice's brother, I thought he did a really good job. And then the new addition to this movie, Octavia Spencer, she does a really good job in the movie. She's not in here all that much, but I thought Octavia Spencer had a very interesting character. But like I did say about Beatrice, I thought the character was overall very interesting because you could see deep behind her eyes that she has a lot of regret and despair behind her and how she the guilt is literally eating up her alive and it's very relatable in the sense because you know what it's like to just feel regret and the more regrets that just come to you they just pile it up and you get guilty like i know what that feeling is like i'm sure all of us in a way have been to that kind of situation and in that aspect i could really relate to beatrice most of the visual effects in this movie they do look really good i thought they look very vivid they look very crisp and the visuals were just very impressive there's one visual that wasn't but I'm gonna get to that when I talk about my negatives with the movie. The cinematography also looks beautiful. And it's because of the gorgeous cinematography that I was really enjoying being in this overall world. There are some action sequences that go along in the movie and I will say I did really enjoy the action sequences. You know, they're not shaky or anything like you get in some action sequences now these days. They're very still, you could see what's going on. You get a lot of wide shots during the action moments and I thought they were very well filmed. Whenever the action was there, I was really impressed with the action sequences. While the storyline is average at best and while it does get a little convoluted, it still managed to keep my interest throughout the movie. Robert Zikwe, uh, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. He's the same guy that directed the original Red film, which I liked, and then that R.I.P.D. movie, which 
I thought was terrible, but he did a really good job directing Insurgent. He managed to keep his overall direction very smooth, even with the movie's average script. And then the final thing I thought was really impressive about Insurgent is the finale. Once Beatrice is doing all of these dream sequences that you've been seeing in a lot of these trailers, I actually thought the finale was by far the best part of Insurgent. It was definitely very entertaining. It was very exciting. But now we do get to my negatives with Insurgent. Now, the first negative I have is that most of the performances, they were so wooden and they're so bland. The actors just felt like they didn't want to be in the movie and it just felt like that a lot of them for phoning it in. Naomi Watts felt like she was phoning it in. Jai Courtney, who I thought was actually really good in Divergent, he seemed to be really phoning it in this movie. A lot of the characters were just so one-dimensional and that same thing goes to Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet was fine in the movie. She's the villain in this movie. You know why, you guys? You know why she's just the most intimidating villain ever? Because she stares and she gives commands. Wow! Oh my god! That That's intimidating! That's all she does! She does nothing but that! And it's a shame because Kate Winslet is such a really good actress, but just like with most characters in this movie, she really isn't given much material. She's just so one-dimensional. She's not interesting. And she just looks so awkward on screen. She is the definition of what a weak villain would be. Now, I did mention earlier how I thought there was one sequence where I thought the visuals looked really crappy, actually. It was laughable. It's actually this one scene, which you've seen in the trailer, where Shane Lee Woodley is dealing with this flying house to go save Ashley Judd, which is her mother. And that one scene, it looks so bad. The events that happened before the finale, they really don't add much up to the storyline. You do just question what does any of these events have to do with what Beatrice is dealing with. The romance plot between Theo James and Shailene Woodley I did not think was very well handled. I didn't think it was very believable. I thought that they were in love with each other, I'll say that, but I didn't think their chemistry was really all that strong. It was just really weak. And then how the movie ends is so incredibly laughable. Like the movie is getting ready to end, it's having its nice uh, wide shot. I'm all like, okay, this is a nice way to end the movie. And then they have to do this one final scene before I hit the end credits. And how this one specific scene just cuts to the end credits abruptly was just so poorly executed and very off-putting. Overall, I thought Insurgent was a decent movie. It was overall okay. It has great performances from Shailene Woodley, Miles Teller, who although yes is Wood and at least he's likable and actually has some personality to him. Um, Ansel Elcourt and Octavia Spencer, all great performances. Mostly great visual effects very good direction but there is some very cheesy and very sappy dialogue that's so out of place. The movie gets a little convoluted especially with the overall solution at the end and the script really could have used a lot of work on most of the characters. Overall I'm gonna give Insurgent two and a half out of four stars. Not as good as Divergent but you know it's decent. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of Insurgent? Also, if you read the Divergent book series, let me know as well. So everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!